Hello, Local 46 family. This is the update regarding your contract negotiations. First, I want to thank everyone who came out in record numbers to vote for this contract proposal. Whether you voted for it or against it, most important thing is all the membership came out, we had a record turnout, and your voices were heard. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. On behalf of your Small Negotiations Committee, I want to thank all of you again for voting. A record turnout. 63.2% of the membership voted for this proposal. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. The actual results, here are the numbers. 1,263 members voted no, 1,549 voted yes, for a total of 2,812 membership votes. This is 200 more than we had for the strike authorization vote. So 55% yes, 45% no. To all the members that voted no, I want to thank you for voicing your concerns. You've spoken to many members of the bargaining team, whether it's been via email or in person or via text message. We appreciate that. Remember that not everyone is happy with this agreement, but we're going to continue to work through the different issues and improve our working conditions between contract cycles. This will help us prepare for the next negotiations. There was a lot of confusion about this proposal. We're gonna work on addressing those going forward. So everyone that voted no, you have been heard. Everyone that voted yes, we understand and appreciate your support of the small committee and their full endorsement for this proposal. Once again, I wanna thank all the members of the small committee for their hard work, working for months, working during the day, working at night to make this contract proposal possible. Adrian Minter, Wayne Horton, Jordan Porch, Miquel Davis, Tori Westman, Xerxes Shelley, Ryan Paddock, Jillian Burlingham, and Brian Johnson. You are the best team ever. You fought hard and made this possible. And once again, to all the members of the 4400, especially those who volunteered with their banners in the rain, in the sun, early in the morning, in the afternoon, you made this happen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your hard work. All right, and now it's time for the next steps. The first wage increase will take place on August 2nd, and that will be $1.50. So the wage allocation and the fringe allocation will take place in July. So stay tuned for additional information. Recommendations from both the healthcare trust and the pension trustees will come out soon to help you make your decision about how we wish to allocate the $1.50 wage increase on August 2nd. So stay tuned for this. So in closing, remember, we are family. Whether we agree or disagree, we are always going to be one family, one body, unified, no matter what. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you at the next meeting, whether it's going to be virtual or in person. See you soon.